A step back in time now, and 30 years ago, the Queensland government was forced to cover up an attempt by church members to meddle in state affairs. It was over Indigenous issues which, along with industrial unrest, dominated politics in 1982, according to just-released Cabinet papers. Ursula Hager has more. 30 years ago, a loaf of bread cost 77 cents. Milk was only 76. The basic wage was just $170 a week. But the release of 30-year-old cabinet documents shows the political issues of the day weren't that much different to today. Obviously the signs were there that um, the then Premier wasn't going to brook any um, you know, uh, resistance to the things that he wanted to do. With Sir Jovioki Peterson at the helm, 1982 saw widespread industrial strikes over the introduction of a 35-hour working week. The Premier declared a state of emergency. Cabinet papers show he planned to make public servants sign documents prohibiting their participation in strike action. Then, of course, uh, having too much power turned out to be not a very good thing. The government reluctantly agreed to equal pay for Indigenous workers and a week later sacked many of them. The opening of the Commonwealth Games was used to grab world attention on the land rights battle. I now prohibit the holding of this profession and direct all persons taking part in this profession to discontinue doing so immediately. And there was a confrontation between the church and state. Aboriginal and Islander Affairs Minister Ken Tompkins warned some religious organisations were using Indigenous affairs as a testing ground to increase the church's role in state issues. He told the cabinet any public release of information on this matter would not only destroy all efforts to date but would seriously damage the government's credibility. 1982 was also the final year of uranium mining at Mary Kathleen and the first to see work on Wyvernhoe Dam. Ursula Hager, 10 News.